I've recently gone from making something that resembles talcum powder to something like this with my chainsaw. Uh, this is how I did it. So this is my latest purchase and this is what has given me the best results so far. It's the Oregon Mini Bench Grinder. It's available from Tool Station here in the UK. You get what you can see here plus another disc. Now this is the actual disc that should be used with my um, chain. You also get another disc with it for different chains but what I've done with the other disc is so I've honed, used the honing stone to flatten this disc off a little bit so that I can do the rakers and it, that worked a treat as well. You would do one raker manually with the normal raker depth gauge that you get in your kit and then after that you can set up the, the height perfectly for every other raker. Something like that. Maybe put that depth gauge to the right a little bit but you get the general idea. This is the 3.2 mil disc that's on it now, also supplied. This is the clamp, make sure that's loose, put your chain on. All you have to do is loosen the bottom here. We know by, you can look up your make of chain, this is a 95 VPX Husqvarna. And I know that this should be set to 30 degrees. So you slide this round to 30 degrees, bang on, tighten the screw. First thing we want to do is the height. As you can see, that's not touching anything there. Screw this out, that'll uh, lower the cutter. Now it's gone too far, we are actually touching. So the best thing to do is screw that out till you see it lift off. What I did there, I just moved this up and down so it was coming into what could have been contact. As I tighten this up, so I'm going to put a little bit more tension on here. You can hear that, it's just just engaging now, so that's us. What I'm doing now, I held that in place while I put some tension on. I'll just complete the tension. That is now firmly held in place. So now we can start the grinder. Let's power it up. And now we just want to tease away a little bit. Don't go too mental. I just hope this focus focuses <laughs> Sorry. because that's a lovely look at that. That is a sharp tooth. The other thing you'll notice when you buy one of these is how quickly you can go around one side. So that's that whole side done already. I'm telling you, it doesn't take long and it's uh, fun to do. And you know that it's all, every single one is exactly the same as the other one. We're going to switch this, swivel this round to the other 30 degrees now to do the other side of the chain. Okay, it's swiveled round now and I should really do one of them and then measure to make sure it's exactly the same as the other side. But because I'd done my other chain and then measured them, I know it is going to be the same. Now that's the first time that's been sharpened with this machine, so I'm not going to bother doing the rakers. I know they'll we'll probably need uh, there'll be another couple of sharpens, maybe three or four more sharpens before I'll need to even look at them. So there you have it. That's the machine set up, uh, and it's working really well. This is a new chain, but it has actually cut down one tree and blocked it and cut a few logs so we're gonna make maybe two cuts with this then we're gonna change the chain to one that I've sharpened with the bench grinder we'll see if we can see the difference <laughs>
slightly better. Could you say that slightly better? <laughs> wow.